What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing another episode of the series where I rate your squads. So lads, basically, um, you guys told me to stop reviewing flex squads, so that's what I'm going to do. So, basically, yeah, um, I'm going to still occasionally pick some at random, but also squads that actually do need a little bit of work. So, if you guys want me to rate your squad, tweet me at dbgyt underscore with hashtag rate my team. So, I don't know if this is a troll or not. So, playstyle, green and contested threes with steady, budget 6,000 MT. I don't know if that's a troll, because this squad straight up sucks. This is a, like, 1 out of 10 team. Um, tear it down. Sell everybody except Manning. And I'm not even kidding. I can't even describe. Like, Kobe's like 30k, isn't he? I'm pretty sure Kobe actually, like, Kobe is for a bit, doesn't he? But, like, tear it down, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Tear it down. There is actually no point. No point running with any of these guys. Like, like Kobe's 20-something K. Just sell him. You can buy a 25K team, that's fine. Like, you could sell your players. Jordan goes for a bit. Kobe goes for a little bit. Um, Mike Richardson goes for a tiny bit. Like, these guys aren't that cheap. Like, you could sell all your most expensive players to about 75k, I'd say. At least. And with 75k, you can buy a solid team. Like, I don't even know. This is a 1 out of 10 team. This seems awful. This seems absolutely awful. I can't, uh... Just wa watch a DBG video. Just watch my channel. Watch some of my budget squad videos and pick those players. Like, I can't... There are too many changes. There are literally, I have to make ten, 9 out of 10 changes. Like, Corver's fine. If you want to use Corver, use Corver. But I literally change every other player. Okay. Rate my team. Okay, so this team right here, no, nothing about play style. So, you've got Eaton locked in, Vlade. So, I would rather not run both of them. But, not the worst thing in the world having them at centers. I like Sean Elliott and I like Karan Butler. So, you've got 20,000 to work with. Sell Mitchell because he's terrible. Donovan Mitchell is awful. Not only that, like, it's not like he's cheap either. It's not like Donovan Mitchell isn't 80k. So you get, you sell Donovan Mitchell, you suddenly have 80k. And look, you have Rose locked in. You don't need to worry about your point guard position. Just put Bingo Smith at the point guard position. Spend 10,000 MT or something on, um, what's his name? Joe Caldwell at the two. Uh... Honestly, hit the 4 or 5 KMT on Dwayne Wade for Derrick Rose. Your center position isn't great, but look, they're locked in. I hate Booker, but he's locked in. Um, Yeah, this team is like a, a 3 out of 10. This is one of those teams that when you come up against this type of team, even if you're running a bunch of Amethyst, you know you're going to win the game. Okay, so you're playing a 10-man use 03. What the hell is the 03 maps playbook? I like to post up and shoot wing threes. Okay, so... Let's have a look at this. I don't like Bob Sura, but he's just expensive for what he is. Like, he's solid and all, but, like, he's a 6'5 sharpshooter who's kind of kind of buying average. Like, it's not like Bob Sura does anything particularly well in this game. So, I'd say probably get rid of him because, again, for his price, you can get way better. Like, he's 15 to 20 guy. Yeah, like, you can get better. Just, like, Dwayne Wade's better. Dwayne Wade's just straight up better than Bob Sura. I like Red. I like Theus, to be honest. I like Larry Johnson. Um, but he's not unbelievable. On your bench, why is Cliff Robinson to three and Silas to four? It doesn't make sense. Silas is six seven, Cliff Robinson's like six ten. I'm pretty sure I'm right with that one, am I? And like, this is like a, a six out of ten team right here. I like Miles. Your center position, well, um Joe G is better than Pegasol. I'm gonna say that right now. And Brooke Lopez is meh. He's all right, like. So changes I'd make. Sell Sir, I get weighed. You save 10k MT and made an upgrade. Um, sell Cliff Robinson without question. Sell Cliff Robinson. I know he's cheap. Like Cliff Robinson's not expensive at all, like. But he's still, um. Like still for 20, 30k, you can get 10 times better. You can get, or he's 20k. I just put in Wilson Chandler or something on the wing. Or, there's so many great cards you can use at that position, like, you can afford, honestly, you can probably afford some, 
pretty good pink diamonds. Like, you can afford Chandler. You can afford Jeff Green if you sell him. So, yeah, that's what I would definitely suggest. And then play one of them guys. Probably Jeff Green at the four and move Silas down to the three because Silas is small. But I do really like Silas. So, yeah, not a great team. Not absolutely terrible. Okay, so just bought the game a couple of days ago. No money spent. This is what you came up with. You can change things. Kobe's there for respect. Okay. If Kobe's there for respect, that is perfectly fine. Then find a way to get his diamond card. The diamond is used. The diamonds, neither of them are great. But the diamond's usable. The pink diamond's not usable. Find a way of getting the diamond if you want to put Kobe in for respect. So I think the easiest way to go about doing that is by selling Chris Bosch. So Chris Bosch, I'm pretty sure goes for a... Because we're a decent amount of MT, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's around 30k. So sell Chris Bosch, sell Scalabrini. I like Scalabrini. Uh, I also like Chris Bosch, but like it doesn't mean they're worth it. As well as I sell Larry Bird. Larry Bird's 40 something K. He's like 40, 50k. So sell Bosch, sell D Rose as well. He's just not worth it. Sell sell every one of your sellable players. Except maybe Ryan Anderson. He's alright. Go and buy yourself a Kobe. I am a diamond Kobe if you really want Kobe. Point guard position, there's a lot of ways you can go. You can use a Wade. You can use, if you like Rose, you can use a Dennis Smith Jr. who's really cheap. There's a bunch of guys. The two guard position, like a Daquan Cook, a, um, oh, what's even his name again? Joe Caldwell. You can go tall and use a Nick Batum or Wilson Chandler. There are so many players you can use. Heck, Dale Ellis is a sniper as well. So many solid players. I like Ryan Anderson. KP is... He's all right, I guess. He can shoot the ball wide open, but he's got no clamps. You've got no clamps in a lot of positions in this team. t fine. Like, you don't need to worry about T-Mac. He's perfectly fine. Not that power forward position if you want cheap. Especially if you've sold the likes of Scalabrini. Like, sell, selling Scalabrini and buying Darius Miles, you've made a huge upgrade. And then even selling Porzingis and replacing him with Danny Manning. Manning will do a lot more for your team. And at the center position, Jochi and... Probably Nerland's Noel, to be honest, are great budget players. So, this team's a, a 2.7 out of 10. The, I don't know, this team's like a 3 out of 10. 3 and... Nah, it's better than the last team. Like, nah, it's worse than the last team. This is a 2.7 out of 10, yeah. 2.7. So, rate my team. Okay, so... You've got 1.9 million MT on this team. Why do you have this team? Why? Like, you have Walter Davis and DeMar DeRozan. Like, if you have DeRozan, and you... Why why don't you just buy T-Mac? And I don't mean buy Opal T-Mac. Because if you're, if you're hoarding MT, whatever, like, some people like to hoard MT. Just get the Pink Diamond T-Mac. If you really like DeRozan, get the Pink Diamond T-Mac. Or the Brandon Roy. You've got to... Like, DeRozan doesn't have quick first step. Roy's way better than DeRozan. Let's get Pink Diamond Roy, if you like using him. Um... Kemp, don't particularly like. KP's okay. Isaiah Thomas sucks. Just don't use him. Just replace him with Wade. Replace him with Bonga. Replace him with... Replace him with anyone. Luca's good. I'm not going to tell you to sell Luca, especially because he's 1.9 million. But, like, surely with that 1.9 million, you can spend four or 500k on that. On getting yourself, like, a Wes Unseld and a, a Hedo. And then, like, I don't know, Pink Diamond, T-Mac. Then sell Sean Kemp and get yourself a like a Jeff Green and Dan, or Darius Miles. And like, why do you have Daryl Dawkins in your team? He's terrible. Oh, I just don't. I don't understand this team. I really don't understand it. So I can't. I can't give it any more than like a, a six point five out of ten. You've got about three or four really good players, but it's just confusing. So yeah, now we are on to this team right here. Um, tell me what you think of squad and how you can make it better. Okay, so. Let me have a look at this. Okay, so there's one may like I get it, you only have 8,000 MT. Oladipo, I like Oladipo. I like Jerry Smith. I like Michael Porter Jr. Um, I don't like Tiny. I don't like Devin Booker. I think I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Kemp or Cummings, but Cummings is decent. Um, Taco's fine. Just try to Evo him up as soon as possible. He's a tiny bit of reliability non Evo, but he's fantastic. Evo and Mel Daniels is really good. So. What I, like you really need to get that one and two off the bench kind of sorted, but 
I'm trying to think of what, pr what price is Sean Kemp? Because if you have the ability to sell Sean Kemp, I probably would like. Uh, you can get 150K at least for selling Sean Kemp. And with that uh, money, if you do want the giant at center, you can afford to get yourself, I don't know, like a Mirasan or something. If you want to use a like Sharp at center, you can use, oh wow, I didn't realize Eddie Curry's 100K. I was about to say go and buy Eddie Curry for Kemp. In general, I would say that, but I thought Eddie Curry was in like the 70K range. But I think the market's high. Like even a Dino for Sean Kemp mightn't be the worst thing in the world. And then if you buy Dino for like the 45K that he is, at the selling camp for 150, you've still got like 90k to work with for your point guard and two guard. So you can probably afford a Wes Unseld and a Joe Caldwell, who may upgrade that team a lot. So this team right here, I'm gonna have to say, because of the weakness in the bench, is like a a 7.5 out of 10 team. However, it is a couple of a uh, couple of change away from me an 8.5. Like I like Oladipo, I like Jr. I like I like your starting five. I really like that whole starting five. I wouldn't change it at all. I just think that you can you can basically tactically downgrade this one card and turn it into a huge upgrade for these two positions right here, which is where you're, re like, Kemp is good, but like you really need to re replace these two, and I think that selling Kemp is the only way you're gonna be able to get funds for it. If not, and you wanna just go ultra cheap, like with 8K MT, you can go and get yourself a Wade, and then save up another like 10K MT and get yourself Wade Caldwell, and if you wanna keep Kemp, and that still improves it a lot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty much it. So. Willing to sell whoever as well as using rest of MT. Okay, so 70k. First of all, I would advise replacing Mo Bamba with Jochi. The reason is, is that Jochi just has plus 20 strength, and I think that is, is a big difference. Um, I like this team. I'd swap Dean Wade and Yi, uh, because Yi is a little bit clunky to play at the small forward position. I'm ne I will never, ever, ever tell anyone to take Dean Wade out of a team. Um... Your point guard position is fine. Again, if you want to make a significant upgrade, like if you want to use Bonga instead of Wade, I'm not going to say it's wrong, but like it all depends on who you're coming up against. Offensively, Wade's way better, but there's no other big point guards that are effective that you can buy for cheaper than unsells or that you can buy them in your price range. Like, yeah, I wouldn't even say Draymond's that effective nowadays. Um, Wilson Chandler and Caldwell, I really like those two guys. I you like that way you've got like a small base 98 two guard with a big point guard and then a big two guard with a base 98 point guard. So I do like that your back front or sorry, your um, backcourt combo for starters on your bench. I'm not the biggest Aguirre fan, honestly. If you like Aguirre, use him. I would honestly prefer just to use a Nick Batum. And at your price range, it's always good to have a little bit of a cushion. So there's no point spending the 70K on players when you can just put in Batum. Um, even though he is like less than 10K, he's gonna be almost as good as anyone at 70K. And then I would say sell Mo Bamba and buy Jochi. Other than that, though, this is a, a like 7.8 out of 10 squad, and for its price, probably like a 9. Okay, so currently trying to upgrade from Shaq to Eddie Curry and replace Lamarcus Aldridge with somebody else. Got Giannis from a pack ages ago. Love his animations. He's playing really well. Any suggestions to upgrade? Okay, so let me have a look. First of all, even if like. There is no question about it. If you're willing to grind the two hours, Thurl is way better than that, Giannis. Um, yeah, this team's like, you know what? It's not as bad as it looks. You've only got one non-clamps player on the team. It's not a good team by any means. This is like a, a 3.5 out of 10. Like, would I feel confident winning with this team? Probably not. Could I win? Probably. So Aldridge at power forward is a bit of a disaster on your bench. That's your first player to get rid of. Get rid of Aldridge. I don't... Honestly. Danny Manning, Odom. Dean Wade works. Half the amateurs in the game work to play a power forward. I would sell Maz Bridges because I think he goes for... As far as I know, he's not cheap though, is he? No, like he's 10k. You can get significantly better than Miles Bridges for like uh, way cheaper than Bridges. Brent Barry is another one that he's actually very cheap. You can probably still get better for cheaper. Bongo though, I, your point guard position is perfectly fine. I wouldn't upgrade them. Um, I wouldn't upgrade Cam Reddish. Paul George is fantastic. Um, but I would definitely, definitely look to, like even an Erlens Noel for Shaq helps out a lot if you're trying to save up. I probably, 
try get Thurl. Or if you have the tokens, get Jonathan Isaac, because they're both way better than that Giannis. That Giannis can't shoot the ball. And really, it's just your power forwards. Like, if you replace those two power forwards with, let's just say, Thurl, and if you somehow manage to wait to get, find a way to get yourself enough MT to buy yourself, like, a Darius Miles. And uh, this team goes for, like, goes to, like, a, a 4 to a... Oh, no, it goes to a 5 out of 10. Right now, it's better. Because you've, I really like these three guys and Bonga, so I'm going to give this, like, a 4 out of 10. I really do like some of these players. This is like a 4 out of 10. Okay, so this team right here. Run 5 out, pick and pop, and heat playbook. Having 100k plus 100 tokens. Thinking of buying Sean Kemp when his price goes down. Yeah, I don't think Sean Kemp even at 100k is good value. Um, there will be a better Sean Kemp type player before his price goes down to a affordable range. Or to a range where he's good value. Draymond, Larry, Terry, Porter, and Aldridge. Okay. Weird team. I want to know why you've. I understand Porter's taller than Cummings, but. And I'm not the biggest Embiid fan, but again, there's no. You haven't locked in. It doesn't really matter. I would sell your point guard and your two. One, Larry Hughes, just because he has the upper glow, does not mean Larry Hughes is that good. He's not awful, but he's not inc incredible. Um, Draymond is not nearly as good as Wes Unseld. And I'm pretty sure, as far as I know, Draymond is actually more expensive than Unseld. Like right now, Draymond is 100k MT. I don't think Unseld is that price. So, replace Draymond with Unseld, replace Larry with, honestly, if you want to replace Larry Hughes with Daquan Cook, you're getting an upgrade. <laughs> but, yeah, I like your I like your point guard. I like your 1-3 to three on the bench, actually. I like RJ, I like Victor Oladipo, and I like Larry Keenan. It's just kind of one or two changes that need to be made. I like Aldridge, and beats okay. Boogie, I don't think, is very effective. But overall, this team's like a... Hmm. Let me give this a... Let me give this a, like a 6. It's a 6. Yeah, it's a 6. Okay, so this team right here. Run the Hawks 2018, use Heat 2013 playbook. Shoot a lot of Pikus and 5 out sometimes. Rim run. Also to switch it up. Okay, this is a bit weird. This is a weird lineup right here. I don't know how to describe it. Because you've got the guts of a million tied up on Paul George and Lamar Odom. But yeah, you run with Diamond Bam at a bio. I just don't get it. Like Bam at a bio is like a worse version of um, Harry Jaws. Like, you can afford so many centers, and you're running with Diamond Bam. Like even Ajuchi is better than Diamond Bam. Like, I can't fault the team that much. Like, it's it's an 8 out of 10. It's just confusing how you have so much MT tied up in two players. And then, obviously, this Bosch who goes for a bit, and the rest of the team is so cheap. And it's not even, like, the god-tier budget cards. And then Chris Kamen's there somewhere. Yeah, it, this is this is an eight out of ten. This isn't a bad team at all. It's just another one that's just kind of confusing. I don't just, like, I don't know what you're going for. You're looking to shoot a lot of peekaboos, and yeah, like you're, but you've got Wade as your starting point guard. Like if you're gonna run a bunch of peekaboos, and run, like, that means Wade is your own, is your really your guy who you're doing all your scoring with. But you've got a million MT on cones then. Why do you have a million MT on cones? If you're Trying to spam through Wade. I just don't get the team. Like, I, I honestly think you could tactically downgrade. If you really are a player that just wants to spot... A, like, the Miami Heat playbook. Literally any player with Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame range, Hall of Fame catch and shoot can uh, play with using the Miami Heat playbook. You don't need anything else. If that's all you need, if that's the way you play, is Miami Heat playbook, Hawks 2018, and using peekaboos with Wayne Wade and pick and pop jump shooting, you could literally replace Paul George... With, and Lamar Odom with Nick Batum at the two and Paul George pink diamond at the three you could save yourself 800k and it wouldn't make a difference if that is how you play if that is your play style you could save yourself 800k and it wouldn't make a difference if uh but uh, yeah it's just kind of confusing why two peak threes and rim run no LeBron's out day to be do you like him open to suggestions 
Okay, first of all, first of all, yeah, LeBron is outdated. And not only, not as, like, LeBron's not awful. Like, I wouldn't go as far, like, I don't like the guard, but I wouldn't go as far enough to say he's awful. He's just, like, 200, nearly 200k, and Unselled is better at literally everything. And uh, is, like, less than half his price. You can get a card that's better at everything for half his price. Jordan, PG, Bobo, and Kareem, you've got demons on defense. That is a ser like if you put Unselled in a point guard, that's a serious defensive lineup. And that's really like Unselled in a point. I wouldn't use Rose and Wade if you're going 13 man. I would put in an extra I would replace one of those with a tall point guard. Just to make sure that you have a tall point guard on the floor at all times. The other team's going big. I like the greens on the wings. Moss at the four is a bit iffy, but you do have Rudy there anyway. Roy Hibbert. I can, actually, I was about to say Roy Hibbert's a bit weird because you can't shoot, but you can put Turner to the 5 and move Anderson at the 4, Rudy at the 4. So, yeah, this team's this is an 8.5 out of 10 team. This is a good team. This is a good team. It could be made, it could be very, very easily made a 9 out of 10 by selling that LeBron and using the LeBron money um, to get yourself an unsell. And this becomes like an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. So, uh, yeah, pretty decent team. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. We saw a lot of good squads. We didn't see any of the flex squads this week. Don't worry. I think the next time we'll see a flex squad is when we actually see a 10 out of 10 squad, which we have not seen yet. People have been messaging me being like, is this a 10 out of 10 squad? And I was like, no, I, I've always told you, 10 out of 10 is perfect. If you have one, any player on your team that's not evoed up, it is automatically not a 10 out of 10 because it's not perfect. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three. I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Bibbin dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped.